I didn't even address the clickbait. Should I still address it today? Okay, clickbait. So I got accused of clickbait. I'm not going to sit here now and tell you, no, I don't know what you're talking about. This wasn't clickbait at all, right? So of course it was clickbait in a sense. The video that we're talking about is Andrew Tate is not Muslim anymore? Question mark? Huh? <laughs> so that was the title, right? A clear question mark. First and foremost, a majority of people, maybe not a majority, but a loud minority, doesn't understand a question mark. So that was a question, right? It wasn't a statement. So everybody that said, Bobby, take fear, Andrew, take fear. Obviously not. If you would have watched the video then, I was more than respectful. I analyzed his interview and I even said multiple times, that is his opinion. We might differ on this opinion, but it is his opinion after all. And that's fine. I have a different stance on this subject. I never take fear him and I never would, right? I'm not into the takfir business. But that being said, again, people somehow missed that question mark. It was a pretty big question mark after all. But now, first and foremost, how do I come up with such titles? I use an AI for titles. Nevertheless, of course, I have the last word and I decide if I want that title. So I use that AI and this AI showed me which title would have the highest percentage of reaching people, especially new people. So therefore, I saw the titles. I had a choice of, I believe, five titles or so. And I chose this one. Yes, this title is obviously very triggering. However, my intention behind it was, and still is, who would click on this video if we're talking about a new audience? Of course, predominantly Christians, because there are many sour Christians out there that are very, very mad that Andrew Tate is not a Christian any longer and that he accepted Islam and they want him back in their camp. You saw many conservatives talking about this as well, such as Candace Owen, and she wants him back as well. I want you back. The conservative American Christian nationalists especially, they want him back. Okay. And so therefore, I made my little calculations and I understood, yes, this will bring many Christian eyes to this video. And therefore, this is indirect dawa. Because once you click on the video, let me remind you, question mark, it's a question. Is he still a Muslim? Is he not Muslim anymore? And then you click on it and you get the answer. Yes, he's still Muslim. Absolutely. And then yet again, if we go into the details of the video, he talked about religions and that he believes that religions are like languages and they all lead to the same God. I said it explicitly in that video, that is essentially perennialism. Not saying that Andrew Tate is a perennialist. He certainly is not. He is a Muslim and he said that the Quran, Islam, has the clearest message without a doubt. But I simply said that what he was talking about, that there are many roads to God, so to speak, that is perennialism. And that is something that I cannot agree with, of course. And I went on a rant that religions are mutually exclusive. Yet again, if Jesus is God, then Islam couldn't be true, right? But if Islam is true, then Christianity cannot be true, etc., etc., you name it, right? So my intention behind this was to reach a new audience, especially people that are not Muslims. But I got the Haram police after all. Anyways, that being said, another intention behind it was, how can we trigger the algorithm? Because my real supporters, they of course understand my situation. We've been not only demonetized, but shadow banned as well. Copyright striked, videos deleted, and whatnot. Since I accepted Islam, the algorithm tried to bury me, right? To the bottom of the barrel. So therefore, how do we get out of that digital prison, if you will? We have to create some triggering titles. It doesn't work otherwise. But as I say, don't judge a book by its cover, right? Open up the cover and check out what is in it. If there was one comment that could have said, hey, listen, the video was absolutely terrible. What you did to Andrew in that video, that was terrible. Okay, then we would have a point. But we didn't. Ultimately, it was all about the title, the packaging of the video that people got upset with. But this video generated, let me see, 
almost 180,000 views in two days. So therefore, your opinion doesn't matter here. This actually reached the wide audience. And now, oh, so you just want clicks? Guys, come on, man. I'm a guy that makes YouTube videos. Do I want people to see my videos? No, of course not. No. Yeah, duh, of course I want people to see my videos. Everybody that creates something wants people to see it. Otherwise, they don't want to create something for other people. If you create a movie, for example, you want people to watch it, be it on Netflix or go to the movies. Right? Duh, you created something. If you open up a restaurant, oh, so you just open up a restaurant so people come and eat your food? Ah, oh, that's why you have all those signs outside? Oh, how deceptive. What are you talking about? Right here in Thailand, how often do I pass by a burger joint and it says, the best burger in town? And then you go by another burger shop and they say again, the best burger in town, award-winning burger. So, oh, deceptive, deceptive. Yeah, you have to advertise as well, man. This is marketing. And ultimately, it is all for a good cause. Because like this, we give dawa. That's what it really boils down to. Anyways, ultimately, I know those are people that are not in my shoes. They don't understand what I'm doing over here. And they didn't even bother to truly watch the video. Because as I said in the beginning, if you would have watched the video, you would have understand my intention. And everybody that actually watched it said as well that the video was absolutely respectful towards our brother, Andrew. Anyways, this is my explanation. I hope it makes sense for you. If not, yeah, honestly, I'm cool either way, guys.